or competitive advantage is something only a few have managed to create. I will now tell you how you can develop a competitive advantage for yourself and leverage artificial intelligence to enhance it. Our new matrix shows the hierarchy of competitive advantage. The vertical axis examines customer value. Is the company at the market's usual value creation level or has it managed to surpass it? The horizontal axis examines the capability to implement innovations. Does the company have a high capability to implement innovations or is it at an average level? There are always many ideas, but implementing them is not easy at all. This gives us four types of competitive advantages. Level one is illusory competitive advantage. Most companies, almost 97%, believe they have a competitive advantage. But inside the company it may be thought that we are excellent, we provide good service, we are reliable, and our operations are of high quality. But from the customer's perspective, the offering may still be quite like the competitors. Current customers know the company and may be satisfied, but acquiring new customers can be problematic if the offer does not differ from the competition. Many companies have moved to level 2 by ordering a creative story from a communication agency. This is far better, but does not remove the fact that the offering may still be the same. However, occasionally a company might succeed in creating a genuine competitive advantage and move to level 3. For example, Tesla was able to maintain its competitive advantage for 10 years, but now the competitors have reached par. Over time, others copied the idea. Very few companies such as IKEA and Apple have managed to reach level 4 and create a long-term competitive advantage. These innovations are so deeply embedded in the company's concept and culture that it is very hard to copy. And naturally, these level 4 companies don't stand still, they also develop all the time. You probably already located your own position. The key question is, how to find our competitive advantage? How can we move to the next level and win? Wouldn't it be fascinating to be able to answer that question? We have identified three ways to develop a competitive advantage. One, through a process led by key personnel's reflection and evaluation. Two, deep customer understanding, analysis and visualization. The third way is that an ind individual just sees the light and understand something that no one else has been able to understand before. A disruption occurs. Technology is usually what enables the development of a completely new way of operating. The first method is to gather your key personnel to reflect and clarify the competitive advantage. We have used this method and it is very good. We start with a short survey about the situation. Then you know the key thoughts crystallize in a simple manner. Two short workshops follow. You clarify what your best people believe is your advantage based on their interaction with the customers. But Repeatedly, repeatedly it has also happened that the clarified competitive advantages are not yet sufficient for differentiation. The current competitive advantages are like unpolished diamonds. They may not yet differentiate us enough from the competition. The diamonds still require cutting and this focus must be specifically included in the strategy. Here is the current strategy of our own company. The diamonds equal the three strategic focus areas, and that is a new heavyweight insight in my opinion. Then the strategy is not just a tool to correct deficiencies, but it strengthens the competitive advantages. Yes! 
Method 2. A competitive advantage from a deep customer understanding is based on analyzing and visualizing the customer's process. The customer has their process to which the supplier connects like a zipper. In the customer's process, you can typically distinguish five to six main stages. The first one is often the customer's goal setting followed by product development, buying help from subcontractors, operating the new production method, selling their offers to their own customers and evaluating the whole operation. Occasionally in this process, the customer encounters situations where he realizes he needs help. The supplier has built its processes in a zipper-like manner. The provider's process connects to the customer's process like a zipper in the contact points. The supplier promotes awareness, gives development ideas, sells its solution and supports the customer when they sell their offering to their customers. The customer zipper development process then begins with recognizing the customer's process after which the customer's situation where he needs help are identified and the relevant concerns and questions are listed. The fourth step is to offer your solution to the concerns. What, somewhat, what is somewhat new in the approach is that the customer's situation and concerns are visualized in sales material. When the customer sees all the questions that the provider's other customers have asked, he understands that he has just the same concerns. Then the willingness to buy the solution increases greatly. When the customer zipper is visualized, the customer concerns and needs are deeply analyzed and we strengthen our competitive advantage greatly. Customers are of course different, so their grouping into segments is also needed. Customers are segmented not just in gold, silver and bronze customers, but also into segments whose customer processes are clearly different and therefore have clearly different needs. The zipper method is a deep foundation for creating an outside-in operation with a clear competitive advantage based on a systemic approach to customer insight. The third way is used to be based on luck. Somebody just sees the light and understands something new, but now we can approach this disruptive method in a systemic way. For example, the founder of Uber analyzed the taxi passenger process and understood how GPS technology can improve the whole thing. The customer can get new information. A phone app can tell whether a taxi is available, how far the taxi is, how much the trip will cost, how the car is approaching and when it will arrive to pick up the customer. And payment is made without taking out the credit card. Great! This shocked the taxi business. When considering what technology can enable and how it can facilitate the customer's process, process can understand, one can understand and identify a solution that changes the entire industry. Disrupt. Now, let's talk about how artificial intelligence can help in ideation to strengthen competitive advantages. I have simplified the use of artif artificial intelligence into two parts, individual use and corporate use. An individual can start using AI immediately in both their work and privately, and an internal protected artificial intelligence can be built inside the company. Let's start with the individual. I have set myself the goal of popularizing the use of artificial intelligence so that we can get as many people as possible to use these tools quickly. That's why I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. AI. They are your mentors and servants. When you have a question, Mr. AI helps. Mrs. AI is a globally recognized expert, a superior expert who knows all existing fields. You can get answers to any question in any form. 
The new skill is to know how to prompt your question in the right way to Mr. AI. You need to continue the priming by asking for further clarifications to get the best possible answers. A new professional role has emerged called prompt engineering. The noble art of formulating questions has emerged. The better you can ask AI, the better answer you get. This is a very hot potato right now. Companies can take an empty chat GPT inside their firewall and connect it, connect it to the company's processes via a postman. Zapier is such a postman. The postman is told that when there is a significant change in the company's information system, it takes this data and copies it to the memory of the internal AI. This is a great help for many functions in the company. Gradually, the internal artificial intelligence knows everything in the company, and then information can be searched from Mr. AI storage by chatting. For example, you can ask, go through all 1000 customer service conversations of the day. What are the most common topics today? What is today's sales? From which areas what deals? Points of today's offer negotiations. What is today's web traffic? What leads? The questioner gets an answer in seconds. Amazing. I have almost completely stopped Googling and switched entirely to Mr. AI because I get the solution from him, plus a list of sites, not just a site list as in the search. Wow. One important message is that there are many artificial intelligence tools available now. It's not, not just about one chat GPT. I started studying my artificial intelligence by systematically collecting information about what tools are available. I have been doing this for almost a year now. Here I have categorized the tools by different topics such as general bots, digital canvases, video making, image creation, internal company integration tools, market and competitor analysis, web design, message content design, article summaries, PowerPoint presentations and meeting notes. There are already over a thousand of these tools. Then I got the idea from YouTube to visualize our company's own toolkit. I was so surprised when I realized that we already had a 10 tool toolkit at the beginning. We have general bots for mentoring and categorizing query responses. We have Miro and Trello for workshop facilitation. For website development and competitor analysis, we have Jasper and Phrase. Then there's the fantastic Leonardo for image development. My secret weapon is Actify, with which I vacuum 10 times faster what happens on YouTube. Uh, book knowledge is two to three years old, while YouTube has day or week old world class knowledge. I follow technology and collect many of my ideas from there. The skill is to ask the right tricky questions. Here's a case how we use artificial intelligence in facilitating strategic planning for our customers. This is our modem. The board gives guidelines for the strategy. We analyze the trends, create a vision of the future with our time machine technology, ponder the challenges of brutal everyday life, analyze the competitive situation in the paranoia section, and finally, make the tough strategic choices based on the prioritized thoughts of the previous reflection. We summarize the guidelines with survey software from the board. We also conduct a staff sur survey on the strategy. We analyze the trends in workshops using AI. In the vision workshop, we illustrate the vision with the wonderful Leonardo bot right from the start and not just when the whole strategy is ready. We also use several tools when we ponder everyday life and competitors. Then we pull the prioritized ideas together and make the tough strategic choices together with customers extended team. 
often the whole personnel joins. It's quite wild how this process, process has changed and significantly improved with the help of AI. This creates a competitive advantage. The importance of illustration will grow. With images, we get people's emotions better involved in planning and implementing work. For example, I made this picture for an HR director up in the left corner. I asked her what her number one question is, to which she replied to get people to work together and not in silos. This picture was ready in one minute. She was amazed. In the left corner down, there is a picture of a merger of two companies. And on the right side, there are visualization of workers on a cruise yacht. And then there is this prompt I wrote to Leonardo. Picture a meeting at Nestor Partners, several senior men and women, meeting room, a large green on the wall, happy faces, hands in the air, thumbs up, bright lighting. I pressed enter and 15 seconds later this came up. And it is exactly right. One click and I got this natural looking picture. Details can be edited in the picture. Just amazing. Let's shortly discuss AI's impact on jobs. AI will not take jobs, but the person who uses artificial intelligence will take the job from someone who does not. The productivity difference is huge. Now everyone should start using Mr. AR. It's so simple and we all have questions we need to answer. AI helps with ideas. AI will affect many people's jobs, probably all of us. Here is a summary of which professional roles AI, intelligent, AI will affect most strongly in the first phase. AI comes to creative work, for instance, graphic design and content production. All routine focused and manufacturing and customer service jobs will change. Why? Because the new is better. That is so simple. AI can significantly improve work efficiency. It invites the individual to move forward in the value chain and gain work success. In conclusion, I want to emphasize that strengthening a company's competitive advantage is now possible using the help of AI. The competitive advantage is a crucial thing in business. Know where you are and take the initiative to move further. That is your business security. Point two is that artificial intelligence is an important competitive tool and its use will be more important than ever. The only thing that might stop you is your own attitude. I urge companies to take that action. There is no time to wait now. My company offers also an executive AI package with which you can raise the awareness of AI in your company and your management team and make practical rehearsals with AI. Thank you for your interest. Leave a comment below and I will be happy to answer. See you.